Hello, it's Sarah, and I figured I'd turn on the camera. I went to Pandora today. I went to get two clips. I got two new clips because I wanted to use this other bracelet that I have, and I like it when it has the clips on it because they kind of balance it out. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, a couple other things ended up in my basket, shall we say. But I was just redoing, this is the bracelet that I shared um, in my last video, what's on my Pandora bracelet. And I just wanted to um, film, I might as well, because if you're, I mean, I've been watching a lot of Pandora videos and you, you can't get enough of them. So I figured I'll just post one and someone will watch it. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to re, I I think this is where I'm going with this, although I could put my birdie right here. I think I'm going to move that, but um, I'll show you the clips I got in one second. I got to focus for a sec. I think I want to move my birdie over. I took off quite a few beads off of here because I added another Murano. I bought a Murano today. Um, I mentioned that previously I'd never, I have I had this one Murano and I never used to wear it. That's why I still have it because it didn't get stolen with my other bracelet. But um, I am in love with them for whatever reason. And I just, yeah. So anyway, all right. So this end I think is going to stay like this. I really like that. And this is the new clip. It's called uh, Sparkling Leaves. Oops, Sparkling Leaves. And I got two of them, two of the same, which I... I can always switch it out, but it definitely has a floral theme to it. It's like, you know, it looks like a little stem with leaves on it. So I like that. I'm going to pop that on here. So this end is perfect. I can keep this like this. But then I had the three pink Muranos on here. I'm going to go out because I know I'm moving around. And I got this Murano today. This one is called Cherry Blossom. And what I really loved about it was the white core that it has in the inside. I think it plays perfectly into this theme of the white and pink um, enameling on my Poetic Blooms bracelet. So I had to get it. And I think, let me see how much this was. This was 25 bucks. So usually clips can run you 50 to 40. I'm sorry, not clips, Mor Muranos. So I had to get it. And I'm just going to add it to the bracelet. I'm going to have four on here. So that's why I needed to move a few things around. So this is going to be in the center. And then I'll put, I'm going to leave my fairy, but I took off my palette dangle, which started it all again. And I'm going to put it on my other bracelet, which is why I wanted to get clips to begin with so that I can use them on here. Um, let me focus on what I'm doing because these are kind of set up how I want to just put them on here and then I'll show you I think it's going to be full like I don't think I'll have that much extra room um, and I think I'm pretty happy and satisfied this is the um, stained glass Murano in pink so that's my center section there's a tiny bit of room, but I kind of like that. And then I, this is just the other um, leaf. Sparkling leaf? Yeah, sparkling leaf. And then I just ordered a dangle that's going to go on here and finish it off. Um, it's called my peace sign dangle. It's an older charm. It's an older um, bead, and I had it on my old bracelet when I collected and um, it has, like at the top here, this thing has pink CZs all around it. And it's just a silver peace sign dangling. And because I have love, hope, peace. So um, that's what I decided to do. So I'm going to put my fairy. So what else? I took off a couple of the two-tone pieces. Because I think I'll make, let's see if I want to do this one, then this one, and this one. I think I decided to put, this is the butterfly. I don't think I had this one on before. This is just a pave butterfly, like cutouts. 
and then this is so see four Murano's looks perfectly fine on it I just spaced them out and then this one I got today this is another spacer it's called twice as nice and it's just again got that leaf pattern with a CZ on each side and because it has the threads I have to thread it I'm gonna put it on the ends because that'll hold every so when I pick it up it won't fall apart so this is what this is looking like now so let's just go up a tiny a bit and I like it um, it's a lot more gardeny themed so like I said I'll get my peace sign and put that here and I think I can call it done um, and then maybe I would just swap things out the only things I would swap out would maybe be this stars one and that's basically it I think I'm good to go so I am very happy about that and then I'll show you um, I can probably do this uh, I may have to hold it up against myself um, the reason I wanted to do that to get those clips for my other bracelet is because when I'm working in the craft room because that's what I do crafts this is a bit bulky sorry about that I always forget to zoom back out so like you know if I'm drawing or whatever I'm doing it is a bit bulky to wear during like every day so I wanted to design something that I could wear every day oh I gotta show you a couple other things I picked up today this and this and this so let's zoom back in two more Murano's one is called blue butterfly it's just got a really soft blue background and then the butterflies are actually like purple blue and like a tannish color and this one is stunning I love this one this one's called wildflowers and if you look in the center of the little daisy, it's got like a CZ. I could probably go in closer. Anywho, it's super pretty. And these were kind of, see it? See that shine? I don't have anything like green in my collection at the moment, but I loved it so much. And this was 40. So this one still wasn't marked down as much. So these were, the other two I got were 25. This one was 40, $39.99, which I don't know if I realized that because <laughs> I'm pretty cheap. But this was the bargain of the day because I didn't, I had no intentions on getting anything like this. But this was $40 and it's called the Golden Star. This was at my outlet. So if you guys have an outlet near you, it's a retired bead and it's got three really decent size gold stars on it so I kinda just impulse bought this because this wasn't towards any theme or towards anything the only thing is I do have other so what I ended up doing was taking off my other two-tone so my little heart with the um, gold heart I have the carriage with the gold heart and I have what else this one this little lock and key heart with the um, gold key so I kind of have a little two-tone you know collection that I'm going with but that wasn't my intention but because I feel like this just really have I have plenty of beads for this I can call this one done now and just move on to something that's a little more eclectic and a little more what I'm all about like having really no theme I don't know because these don't really <laughs> go on it but I want to make this just all silver so I'm gonna put the Murano's away for a sec and let's see what I can come up with for this I guess put I want to put everything I'm keeping down here I want my pave heart um, maybe my little doggy. These two are so cute. I guess I'm just going to put all these on here and what the heck. I think this is all I have left really. Maybe I should put this Murano because it matches my doggy's hat. But 
then why wouldn't I just put these? Because I don't want to put any Muranos. Let's just see what it's like. Now, the other thing, the one other thing I wanted to mention was I was debating, and I, I'm so glad I didn't do it because I would have had buyer's regret. <laughs> I mean, Valentine's Day is coming up. I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Um, I am going to get, the next time I get a bracelet, I'm going to get a 7.1. This is the 7.5, and I was telling you guys, in the back of the catalogs, it talks about, you know, choosing a size, and I asked her about it today, because I really, every day bracelet, I prefer a 7-inch bracelet. So, why do I like the 7.5? Well, because when you put the charms on, it gets smaller and tighter, but she said, I put the seven, she put the 7.1 on me and it fit fine. She could fit like three fingers under it. So basically if you can fit fingers under it like this, then you're okay. And so I think I am going to try um, a smaller one next time because this is a 7.5 and I want to show you how this fits me. So this is just all silver beads. I don't think I have any other, oh I have the crown. I just have the crown, which it's so big. But why shouldn't I put that on? I think I have to. I think I'm going to stick this over here. And I always leave a threaded bead at the end. I repeat myself, but that way when I go like that, it's not all going to fall off. So why not? I have the carriage on here. All right, so I just wanted to show you. Hopefully I'll be able to um, clasp this without too much trouble because so I'm thinking I'll be able to craft with this on or whatever but it is going to hang I'm just going oh, I'm going to hold it up against myself it is going to be a little more um, it hangs down in other words what I'm saying so what I'm saying is if I get a smaller bracelet I think that's going to help with me with it not getting in paint is what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to class this on camera. It's not ideal. It is a lobster claw and I have no nails. But I usually can do this so I'm not going to give up. I could turn the camera off. But I'm stubborn and I know I'm going to get it. Um, not, I'm not going to get it. But it is, sorry about that, I couldn't do it. Um, it does hang down. So this is just an all silver look with no Muranos. And it does hang down. So I'm thinking if I'm going to do something that's more of an everyday, having the 7.1 is probably better. Just because I'm a crafty person, because it's going to hang down. But as a jewelry wearer, I do like the, the like more dangly bracelet. So basically, if this was a 7.1, I think it would be right up against my wrist like that. And people like it like that. So I'm, I just haven't ever had one, so I don't know. All right, you guys, so that was it. I hope I helped your fix for the day. <laughs> and I will keep you up to date. This was the score today, which I didn't even intend, but I've got these three. So I could easily do it. start doing a two-tone bracelet. So maybe I'll just give you a sneak next time I'm making a video if I get my peace sign, because that's going to go right in here somewhere, and it will complete that one. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.